when it comes to imposter syndrome oh we getting real close sometimes you have to be the part before you get the part we all talk about how actions speak louder than words someone can sit here and say hey listen i'm the motivational moto vlogger i'm the one that they should be listening to let me see your proof where is your proof it's one thing to act as if you are someone that you're not but it's another thing to be playing that role putting in the work putting in the efforts doing your best and being able to build up rapport with your community being able to shed light and provide value there comes a point in time where you become the qualification there is no qualification my next step for me i'm going to be getting into mentorships life coaching helping those whether it's with social media struggles at home trying to get insights of how to improve and maximize your potential that is what i want to do but it took me this long to get to that point because of the fear of imposter syndrome I could have been doing this a long time ago and sure a lot of people wouldn't have taken me serious they would have been like who is this guy the motivational moto vlogger like psh, i'm good why would i go see this guy compared to all of these other gurus online that that talk about being mentors and social media coaches and when it comes to the fear of imposter syndrome trust me guys i know what it's like i know how it feels to be stuck inside that shell wishing that you could just break out and break free but you you fear that you are not able to do the job that you're not qualified enough you're embarrassed i promise you there's one answer to fixing this build and stack so much undeniable truth that you are who you say you are i watch a lot of motivational stuff i watch david goggins alex armozzi gary v all of those people that have helped go and watch their content when they first started you would i'm telling you guys you would be like what the hell are they talking about i would never pay this guy my money they lived that role before they became that role it's awkward and you're not gonna be as professional looking or sounding as you would like to be but if you take my first piece of content and you look at my content now, it's completely different. The way that I talk, how comfortable I am behind and in front of camera. I used to be so afraid to be on camera, guys. So afraid. I would be recording in my street. A car would come driving by and I'd go run, I'd go hide. Or I would legitimately stop recording, get embarrassed, say, forget this, I'll do it later. I know exactly the feeling and the thoughts of being embarrassed, not feeling like it, you feel like a complete outsider that's why i wanted to talk about it is because i know that there's so many of you at home that have the potential to do what you're meant to do there's so many people at home that are craving to break free but they fear that they they aren't good enough they fear that they're not qualified it's so important to know that those feelings literally every entrepreneur goes through content creation whether you're trying to get that next step in your job or the next promotion the, trying to build a business you're gonna have that fear you're gonna feel like you're an outsider you're gonna feel like you don't belong what really helped me was just stacking up so much undeniable proof that you are who you say you are i still go through emotions i still go through the feeling of damn is this really worth it this guy just called me cringe on my post and we all go through negative feelings and thoughts but at the end of the day, when I go back onto my page on Instagram or YouTube, I see hundreds of videos that I've done. Thousands of hours, thousands of hours put into this to get where I'm at right now. I have stacked up so much truth that I am who I say I am. Look at all this right here. Look at all that. Check this out. You catch me over here. You catch me over there. I have built up so much proof to the point where maybe momentarily, and I mean momentarily, a couple minutes of your time you will get from me, of my emotions, my self-confidence. Even if you get that little bit of time, I wake up and go to bed every single night knowing that I'm good, that things will be okay, that I am who I say I am, and that I'm going to do the things that I say I'm going to do. It's really tough to dodge the negativity and dodge the hate when you haven't built that love and trust with yourself it's tough guys but when you tell yourself when i wake up tomorrow i'm going to do that one thing i've been putting off and then you don't do it you're literally just lying to yourself you're letting yourself down you might not see an impact immediately but you're just you're you're destroying your your self-motivation you're destroying your potential when you commit to something when you promise yourself you're going to do something get up off your ass and do it 
no matter how much you don't want to do it. But when you start establishing that trust and that love within yourself, guys, I promise the rest is history. If you're out there suffering from imposter syndrome, if you're afraid to take it to that next level just because of insecurities, I understand. And trust me, you are not alone. 99.9% .9 of people that are doing what I'm doing or doing what you want to do went through those same emotions, those same feelings. But those people were able to live the role before they got the role. Those individuals were able to stack up truth. Those individuals, I can't even talk, those individuals were able to show others that no matter what they say, no matter what they do, I'm still showing up every day. Go ahead, you can talk as much shit as you want and report my stuff. You can comment negative things. Guess what? I'm still showing up every day. Whether I get a hundred likes or whether I get a hundred thousand likes on a post, I'm still showing up every day. I have to separate myself from the pack. I have to be the one that stands out. The one that stands out from the crowd will soon be the one that the crowd wants to be around. Be that person. Forget about insecurities. Forget about being cringe. You will never see someone hating on you that's doing better than you guys. Very, very rarely. I've been posting on social media now for a little over a year. And to this day, I've had one person, I've had one individual who is way up there. Very popular individual. I'm not even going to say his name. But someone that you guys all know at home, I can guarantee you that one of my role models called me cringe. That shit kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. It, it, for one of my role models, someone that I truly look up to, it did affect me. But you know what? For every one person hating on you, you got 10 people that love you. And, and I'm okay with that. Even if I had, for every one person that hated me and one person that supported me and loved me and cared about me, that is the even trade, guys. You have to understand that. If you're feeling embarrassed, feeling as if you don't really belong, that is a sign that what you're trying to do has a possibility of being great. It's like a test. Think about it like a test. When I started all this, who the hell am I to be trying to motivate people? I'm gonna try a wheelie. I don't do wheelies. Oh, that was crazy. That was awesome. Back to the subject. For those who have known me my whole life, truly know who Shifter is behind the mask. Those are the ones that it's mostly cringe for. This is who Shifter is? No way. And it's, it's so funny, guys, because it's, this has been a dream of mine and but no one really knew that no one really knew that i was wanting to be motivational that i was really wanting to inspire others because why i had imposter syndrome i was afraid to tell people i thought that i wasn't qualified i thought that i wasn't able to preach messages when i wasn't living that life myself so for me it was really about just digging deep and learning to put that love into you that love and energy that you give everybody else there's gonna be a few things that happen the first thing people are gonna start to envy you <laughs> that's the number one thing self-centered selfish you only care about yourself you don't care about other people that's partially true I'm very selfish with my time and energy and love now but look what it's it look what it's created look what we've been doing no I haven't made it no I'm not a millionaire I've been able to make an impact I've been able to do things with my life that I have never done before. Yes, I'm selfish and I'm sorry to those that are close to me. You need to know that it is completely normal to feel out of place. It is completely normal to feel that I'm not worthy enough. I don't have the qualifications. It's the consistency, it's the showing up every day, it's the believing, the putting that self-love into yourself, making time for you making time for your dreams. Like I said, I'm on my way home from work right now. I'm starting to do U-turns. It's finding time for you. And for those who say, I'm so busy, I don't have time. Guys, I'm literally on my way home right now because I know when I get home, I'm gonna have shit to do. I'm on my way home right now recording content because this is my window. I have a, a 10 to 15 minute window to record content today and I'm not missing that window. When I first started all of this, when I didn't have a following, I was still doing this, showing up every day, putting that love and energy into me, being selfish with my time. And now that I keep talking about it, I feel like I have something that, that might help you guys. Become selfish with your time. That doesn't mean 
be rude to others and understand and know that you are the number one priority your dreams come first now your passions come first because my whole life i have put other people's needs and wants ahead of my own which causes me to be drained out tired depressed hurt anxiety feeling like no one cares about me why am i getting hurt and now that i've been putting this love into me putting this love into shifter look at look at what happens look at it, it i'm telling you guys there's no secret sauce to this if you're if you have fears you're on the right track know that you're doing something those who live comfortably don't have those fears and doubts as they get older and older they're gonna have more and more regrets which leads to more and more imposter syndrome the more you wait the harder it's going to be to break free we all have something within us we all have some potential that's untapped and I'm trying to find it I'm trying to grind for that I'm trying different things and I'm so excited when you start promising things to yourself it's just weird I don't know maybe I got superpowers but it's just weird that when you start following through and committing to your promises to yourself how you just start speaking things into existence I can't even describe it the amount of things that are coming true that I've been talking about and I really believe it started from just following through if I say I'm gonna record content I'm gonna go record content I'm not gonna make up excuses and be tired and start putting that energy and love into you and watch what happens watch how you grow watch how things change I need a garage door opener that's what I really need damn who is this shift dude Oof.